Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video covers converting alcohols to alkyl halides using HX, where HX is an acid and X is chlorine or bromine. Converting alcohols into alkyl halides using a hydrohalic acid like HCl or HBr parallels in a lot of ways dehydration reactions of alcohols, which was covered previously in a video. Here's an example of an alcohol which has a hydroxy group, but hydroxy groups are poor leaving groups. However, protonation of the hydroxy group can convert it into a good leaving group, and that's been a theme of alcohol reactivity with acids. If the acid is HX, where X is chlorine or bromine, then the acid can protonate the alcohol, and that generates a protonated OH, which is a good leaving group now. When the acid is HX, a substitution reaction can occur where the X minus species acts as a nucleophile. So here, Cl minus or Br minus would be acting as a nucleophile to displace the leaving group. That results in a substitution reaction, and the mechanism there could be either SN1 or SN2. Elimination reactions might compete in this reaction, so that's something to be aware of. The mechanism depends on the substitution of the alcohol that you start with. Tertiary and secondary alcohols react through an SN1 mechanism, and that's because tertiary and secondary carbocations can form. They're stable enough to form. However, primary alcohols react through an SN2 mechanism, and that's because primary carbocations are just too unstable to form. Tertiary and secondary carbocations are stable enough to form. So let's take a look at an example of an alcohol reacting under these conditions. Here's an alcohol. It's a tertiary alcohol, and as we've seen before, OH is a poor leaving group, and it can't leave on its own. However, if an acid like HCl is put in, the acid can protonate the alcohol, making a protonated OH group, which now is a good leaving group, that'll leave as water, which is a weak base. Since this is a tertiary substrate, it can form a stable carbocation, which is what happens next. This is a tertiary carbocation. That tertiary carbocation can undergo an SN1 substitution mechanism, where the chlorine now attacks the carbocation carbon, and that gives an alkyl chloride, which is the product of the reaction that we're looking for. E1 mechanisms can compete with SN1 mechanisms. An alternative pathway would be for the carbocation to get deprotonated by a weak base like water in an E1 type reaction process where the water grabs a proton off the beta position and that gives an alkene product. SN1 and E1 reactions tend to occur together and this was covered previously in the chemistry of alkyl halides. Primary alcohols react through an E2 mechanism and the reason here is that primary carbocations are just too unstable to form. Let's take a look at an example with an alcohol. This is a primary alcohol. And again, the OH group, the hydroxy group, is a poor leaving group. And if we put this in with an acid like HBr, the acid can protonate the OH group. That generates a protonated OH, which has a good leaving group. That'll leave as water. And in this case, it can't leave on its own. A primary carbocation is just too unstable. An SN1 mechanism isn't going to happen here. Instead, an SN2 reaction can happen where the Br- can attack the carbon bearing the leaving group. The leaving group can leave, and that gives, in this case, an alkyl bromide. E2 mechanisms compete with SN2 mechanisms. The E2 reaction requires an anti-coplanar geometry where the proton being abstracted in the leaving group must be coplanar. This species can achieve the required geometry as I've indicated here with the yellow highlight, and that would enable a base like water to come by, grab the beta proton, have electrons flowing, the leaving group leaving, and that would give an alkene product. SN2 and E2 reactions occur together. We'll work through a practice problem on this slide. We're given a reaction and asked to draw all possible alkyl halide products that could form in the following reaction. This is a secondary alcohol and the acid is HCl, so you should be able to predict that this is going to go by an SN1 mechanism. Now, E1 mechanism is also likely here, but the question doesn't ask about elimination products. It doesn't ask about alkenes. It just asks about alkyl halide products. So it's focused on SN1. The OH group could grab a proton off the HCl, which protonates it and makes it into a good leaving group. And since this is a secondary substrate, that leaving group can leave, which would give a carbocation and the other product is water and Cl- as a counter ion. That's a secondary carbocation, and chloride can attack it to generate alkyl halide products. Now, the carbocation has two faces. There's a top face and a back face, and each of those is accessible, leading to two possible alkyl halide products, one of which the chloride is delivered from the back face and one of which the chloride is delivered from the front face. In this case, the two stereoisomers that are formed are a trans product and a cis product, and they're diastereomers of each other. That's one outcome. 
The other possibility though that you always have to be looking for is could this carbocation rearrange? And in this case, there's an H that could move over with a pair of electrons to give a more stable carbocation. A 1,2 hydride shift could occur where the hydrogen moves with its bonding pair of electrons to give a new carbocation. And this carbocation is a tertiary carbocation, which is more stable. Now we have a new carbocation to worry about, and that could get attacked by Cl-, which could bond with it and create a new alkyl halide, which is shown here. Now this molecule is achiral, it doesn't have any stereogenic centers, so I haven't drawn in any dashes or wedges, and I don't really need to. Here are the three possible alkyl halide products. If you found this video useful, check out the next one in the series or watch the prior video. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. My name is Brant Kudrowski. Thanks for watching.